How to set up dependent drop-down boxes on Add and Edit Pages. This tutorial applies to PHP Runner, ASPRunner.net and ASPRunner Pro. Here we have an example of a vehicle stock capture form for a car dealership. The user would click the Add New button to fill in the new vehicle details. We are now at the Add New page and the vehicle make model and body type together with how many vehicles to add needs to be filled out. First, we need to add a drop-down selection to the make field. And secondly, a drop-down select to the model field. The available values to select from in the model field will be dependent or changed depending on the selected value in the make field. In other words, if the user select Nissan at the make field, only Nissan models must be available in the drop-down for selection. Let's have a quick look at what tables we would need to achieve this. The first table is called cars and stores a list of available cars. We will make this list in the make field available as a drop-down select at the master make field. The second table we would need is a card type table. This table stores all the models for each vehicle make. We will make the list in the type model field available as a drop down select at the master model field. Additionally, we will make the master model field dependent. So if the user select Nissan as a make, we will instruct the software to look for Nissan values in the type make field from the cars type table and only allow the corresponding values in the type model field to be selected. The same must happen when the user select Toyota. Ok, so far so good. We now need to identify two important fields. The parent field and the filter field. The parent field is always a field from the main table. And in this case it is the make field. The real field name for this field is stock underscore make. The label was renamed to only display make. The filter field is always a field from the table you use to populate the drop-down in the dependent master field. We already know that we will use the car underscore type table here. So the filter field must be from this table. And yes, you guessed it, the filter field will be type underscore make. I opened up a new project and select the car stock table, which is also the master table. On the pages screen, I select the list, edit, add and delete pages. I'm now going to the page designer and select the add page. Select the field stock make and click view as edit as. Select Lookup Wizard. Select the Cars table. The link field will be Make. And the display field will also be Make. If you want to, you can order it by the Make field as well. Click on Test It. Here I selected Volkswagen and the value that will be saved in the master table is going to be the same. And it is a good idea to make this a required field. Everything is working well, so click OK. Next is the model. Select the stock underscore model field and click view as, edit as. Again we need a drop down select, so select lookup wizard. This time the source table will be cars underscore types. The link and the display fields will be type underscore model as we need a drop down of the models. Again, feel free to order the drop down values if you like. 
Now, if we leave it like this, all models of all cars will appear in the drop-down. But we must only have an option to select models related to the selected make. To do this, select the tick box this drop-down is dependent on. Remember the two important fields we identified earlier on, the parent field and the filter field? The parent field will be stock make and the filter field will be type underscore make. Let's test it. As you can see when Nissan is selected we only get Nissan models. And when I select Toyota, only Toyota models becomes available. You may want to make this field compulsory too. And click OK to save. OK, let's see what we have so far. I set the capture date and select Nissan as a make. And only Nissan models are available. Next, I need to capture the body type of this vehicle. But let's just observe for a moment. The same table we use to populate the model also stores the body type. Let's see how easy it would be to populate this automatically. Back at the designer page, select stock model and click on view as, edit as. Click on auto fill. Here you see all fields from the main table. Stock underscore body underscore type is the field we would like to auto populate. And Type body is the already populated value for each vehicle. Tick apply on edit page as well. And click OK. And OK again. Now select stock body type and click on view as edit as. We will make this field read only. And click OK. Let's see it in action.